Number 12. Uh, use orbital notation to illustrate the bonding in each of the following molecules. So orbital notation. And so what I've done here, let's start with A, looking at chlorine, a, chl a chlorine molecule. And notice that it does say molecule here. And chlorine is one of the diatomic molecules, right? Brinkelhoff, that's the CL. Chlorine, when it exists as pure chlorine, exists as Cl2. So there are two Cl atoms. Now, within the Cl atoms, okay, and we know that chlorine is a halogen, okay, so its highest occupied sublevel is going to have seven valence electrons. Now, notice that all of these orbitals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these orbitals are doubly filled. There is, in fact, one orbital in each atom that are only singly filled, right? Well, that makes sense because chlorine has seven valence electrons. It needs one more. If we were to gain one more in these chlorine atoms, we would have a full octet. But as it stands, we don't. We only have seven valence electrons. And so in the Cl2 bond, the chlorine to chlorine bond, we are going to take these two electrons and we're going to bond them together. Uh, if you're really paying attention, you notice that this is an up arrow, right, for up spin, and this is a down arrow for down spin. You might ask yourself, why did you draw it down? How are we supposed to know that it is down? Well, in that sense, you don't have to know that this is going to be down. What you are supposed to know is that in order for two electrons to be in the same orbital, remember, these electron pairs are going to fill both of these orbitals at the same time so that both of these electrons can be shared between the two, uh, sorry, between the two atoms. And so this electron has to be able to fit in here. This electron has to be able to fit in there. And the only way they can do that, right, as per the Pauli exclusion principle, remember, we can't have the same... A uh, set of four quantum numbers. One of them has to be upspin. One of them has to be downspin. All that means in real life is that the two chlorines have to be oriented in such a way that when they collide, when they come into contact with one another, that one's just upside down. Okay, one in three-dimensional space. One of them is just rotated so that what might seem like an upspin to you seems like a downspin from your pr perspective. Boom, upspin, downspin. They form their bond. So with that same idea, let's move on to B. Let's look at oxygen. Oxygen's another diatomic molecule. Okay, Brinkelhoff, there's the O. So the molecule oxygen is going to be O2. Now we draw the orbital notation, okay, the orbital diagram uh, for oxygen. Okay, We go up to the 2P sublevel, and we put six electrons in it. All right, so here we have two uh, different orbitals that are only singly filled. And so if we pair up these two electrons and then pair up these two electrons, right, and share them between the two oxygens, both oxygen atoms can have full octets. And so realize if these two electrons are being shared in these two orbitals, it's going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 electrons. What number is oxygen? It is number 8. Oh, I'm sorry, did I, did I count that wrong? Oh, sorry, we'll have we'll have eight here. Yeah, sorry, my bad. We'll have a full octet. Sorry. Uh, we'll have a full octet. That'll, that'll bring it to the electron configuration of neon, right? Noble gas uh, electron configuration. My bad. Um, <coughs> and so if these two electrons count in these two orbitals, these two electrons will also count in these two orbitals to give us that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight valence electrons, a full octet. Uh, a noble gas electron configuration, uh, that of neon. All right, so those are two diatomic molecules. Let's look at something that's not diatomic. How about just hydrogen fluoride, which is one hydrogen atom and one fluorine atom. So we draw out fluorine, okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons, right? It's a halogen. Hydrogen's one valence electron in the 1s. And so I hope you can see the pattern. If we share these two electrons, we can have this electron shared in here, filling up this 1s orbital so that 
Uh, hydrogen has a noble gas electron configuration, that of helium. It doesn't have an octet, but it does have a duet. Okay? Uh, hydrogen's a little bit of an exception in that sense, but it's got a noble gas electron configuration. And then if this electron can count as inhabiting this orbital, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight valence electrons. So that'd be a full octet for fluorine, giving you the electron configuration of neon, noble gas stability.